What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you're sick and tired of paying the outrageous fees on the Ethereum network. I've done a couple of videos on PancakeSwap, which is a decentralized exchange that runs on the Binance Smart Chain. But a lot of you have been asking in the comment section, how do you move your ETH or other tokens from ERC20 over to Binance Smart Chain? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the simple method that I use. There's a couple ways you can do this, but this is the particular method I use. We're gonna jump into it. I'll show you everything you need to know step-by-step. Step, I'm gonna do this along with you. The only thing that I ask, if you do like this video, take one second and hit that like button. Really helps me out a lot, and it helps this video get shown to more people. So let's jump in. I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, here we are. This is PancakeSwap, and I've done a couple of videos on this. This is a decentralized exchange running on Binance Smart Chain. And the reason this is good right now is because, like I mentioned, Ethereum fees are outrageous. The gas fees are just incredible. You can't really use Ethereum because the fees are so insane. With Binance Smart Chain and PancakeSwap, you basically are going back to how Ethereum was in the good old days, before the outrageous minor fees. So I'm not going to get into how everything works on PancakeSwap. I've done three or four videos on that, every feature. So I'll leave all those links in the description below. Please check those out so you know how to use this. But when you come here, there's a way that you can exchange your ETH or other tokens that are running on different networks or different chains to Binance Smart Chain. So I want to show you what that looks like. So you would come over here here and you would come to exchange and when you get to this page here there's this tab for obviously swap so swap is to swap different tokens liquidity you can provide liquidity and this is the one we're really concerned with for this video and it's the bridge so if you click on the bridge it's going to take you over to the Binance bridge and what this allows you to do is swap your tokens from one chain to another chain so I want, this is really important though so it says it seems you're accessing Binance from a restricted IP address. So if you're in the United States, as I am, or any of these other countries listed here, you will get have to get behind a VPN. So I use VPN. I'll leave a link if you guys wanna check out VPN, but once you enable the VPN, you will be able to use this, okay? So you enable it, like I'm doing right now. Once it's on, refresh the page. Obviously, it's gonna take a little bit of time, right? Because now you're behind a, a VPN, but once you refresh that page, it's gonna be good and you're gonna be able to transact. All right, so once it comes up like this, you'll have to connect your wallet. So I'm using MetaMask. This whole tutorial is around MetaMask. So if you're not using MetaMask, sorry, but this one is about MetaMask. So connect a wallet here. So it gives you the option for Binance Chain Wallet or MetaMask. So like I said, I'm choosing MetaMask. Connect the wallet. So here's what's happening right now. You can see right now, if I bring up my MetaMask here, I'm on Binance Smart Chain. So if I want to convert from Ethereum, to Binance Smart Chain, I have to select Ethereum as the starting point, okay? So once I do that, it'll recalculate, and now I'm gonna go through what each of these things are. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you select an asset. So I've been talking about Ethereum, but you don't have to use Ethereum. The first one that comes up is, is USDT. So if you had Tether on Ethereum, you wanted to send it to Tron or vice versa, you could do that as well. So first option here is select an asset. You can type it in and see if it's available. Like if you had band on Ethereum ERC20 and you wanted to send a band protocol, you could do that here. So basically it's allowing you to convert anything from one chain to another, as long as it's supported on the chain that you are sending it to. So you can search for what you want. I'm just gonna, for this example, I'm gonna just show you how it looks with Ethereum. So if we were sending ETH from ERC20 to BSC, which is Binance Smart Chain. So you would select this here, and then what we're doing here is next, what is the chain we're sending it from? And in this instance, it's going to be Ethereum. But you'll see I can't select it because it's already pre-populated over here. So once I go over here and select Binance Chain Network, now I can come over here, select Ethereum Network, and you can see it's really important that it says connected. Once you connect your wallet here, it should say connected on the from. Okay, that's really important. You want it to be connected. So now it sees how much Ethereum I have. So I have 1.06 ETH in my MetaMask, which, mas which matches, matches what I do have there. So I can send an amount from this here, this Ethereum, my MetaMask ERC20, to my Binance chain. So for me, it's asking me, the next thing I'm gonna choose is the amount. So I, I'm gonna just choose the max. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit less because you need gas fees, obviously. So let's just do 0.5. And then for me, the destination is actually the same address. So I will copy this address because you can see if I go to 
This is Ethereum mainnet ending in 958F. If I go to Binance Smart Chain, same address, right? Nine, nine. So I have to change this back, but copy that address. Okay, so next thing it asks you is, I want to swap some ETH, or I want to swap some BNB gas in this order. Okay, so what this means is, when, you, when you're using Binance Smart Chain, BNB is the gas of the network. So if you're moving ETH for the first time and you don't have any BNB in this address, you're gonna need some BNB because once you get your ETH over there, you're not gonna be able to transact at all because you have no BNB to pay the gas fees. And the gas fees are minimal, so you don't need to do a lot. I have some BNB, but if you select it here, it would ask you how much BNB you want it to do, okay? So I'm gonna turn this off for now. Next thing that you're gonna do is paste the destination address. So where are they sending the tokens to? So for me, I'm going Ethereum network, which is my MetaMask, but I also have Binance Smart Chain in my MetaMask. So it's for me, it's the same destination. I paste that in here, okay? All right, so interesting note here. I tried 0.5, it's not allowing me to do it. It says the minimum amount is 0 0.0036 and the maximum 0 0.31. So obviously I'm within that range, but it doesn't let you do it for me if I do anything less than one. So one works, 0.99 does not work. Okay, so just for the purpose of this example, I have 1.06, so I'm gonna do one. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. I've put the destination address in here. You hit next, okay? It tells you everything about the transaction, right? So you're going Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain Network. It tells you the asset you're moving. It tells you the destination that you've put in. So double check this, make sure that this is the right address. It tells you the network fee. 100% discount, always love to see that. So it shows you exactly what you're gonna receive. However, this doesn't include the Ethereum gas fee that you're going to have to pay. And I'll show you what that looks like here in one second. So when you hit confirm, it shows you, again, send one ETH to this address. So this is the address that you are going to send your one ETH to that is then going to convert it and then send it back to Binance Smart Chain Network. So you can do it here you can either copy this address, open up your MetaMask and do it the old fashioned way, or it's got it built in for you. So you can submit the transaction directly through MetaMask. So if you click this button here, opens it up for you. And now you can see, boom. And this is pretty good, 390. Earlier today it was like $27. So this is fluctuating all over the place, but still, you know, er, yesterday I think it was like 87. You can confirm it right here. And when you confirm this, this is going to convert this ETH over to your Binance Smart Chain. Now, I'm not gonna do it because I don't need ETH on my Binance Smart Chain, but these are the steps you would take, right? One, behind a VPN, if you're in the United States or a prohibited country. Two, choose your asset. Connect your wallet. Make sure your wallet is on the right chain. So if you're moving from Binance Smart Chain, you should be connected to Binance Smart Chain. If you're moving from ETH, you should be, whatever chain you're moving from is the chain you need to connect to because that's the important part. Enter the amount enter the destination address, complete the transaction. It takes about, depending what chain you're going to and from, about 10 minutes. Once available, you can transact on PancakeSwap if you've moved your funds to the Binance Smart Chain. And again, guys, I've done many videos on how exactly to use PancakeSwap. I'm gonna leave all those links in the description below. Let me know what you think about this. Don't forget to like this video. Until the next time, be safe.